what did you think about the information in the class? Was it a lot of good information or is it stuff you already knew already? I would say it was a lot of good information. Some stuff I did know, but it, it confirmed what I already kind of studied. So it was really informative. Yeah, uh, the parallels between the scarlet and the gold and the purple with the Catholic Church and the seven hills of Rome and then also the seven heads and how Babylon sits upon them, things like that. That's got to be the Sabbath for me. So I had always heard that the Sabbath was Saturday, but we all go to church on Sunday anyways. So it was really, I guess, enlightening to hear the breakdown of how historically that got changed. And we went from, you know, going to church out of the book and said we go to church out of the world. So it was interesting. Obviously, the focus of the book was sort of on the difference between the two laws, the Moses law and the commandments and on the mark of the beast. And really all of that was something I hadn't heard preached at all. So hearing the difference and knowing that we are still under the commandments was a big thing for me. It was just confirmation, I know that. Ain't no private interpretation of the scriptures. So everything that I got from it, I understand that it lined up with where it was slammed. There's no private interpretation to a scripture. So if, it's a, so if it's something the Holy Spirit gave me and this man, and we ain't in the same place, that means we know we worship in the same God. Yeah, uh, particularly like um, talking about the catechism, about how we would have to remember the Sabbath day and how that the laws would be changed and how the Catholic Church came in and changed the Sabbath from Saturday to Sunday. Definitely stuff just about the beast in general and all the connection it has to like Catholicism. I never heard about any of that, to be honest. And it's strange how like it tells you what to look out for. No church ever talked about that before, about what to look out for. So what did you guys think about the speaker throughout this class? Was he making up his own interpretations or did he get everything out the Bible with proof? Everything was supported by the Bible, and that's what I appreciate, how he linked it back every single time. Only thing he did just went deeper into it, what it was saying, breaking it down. Everything I saw was straight out of the Word. I mean, it, like I said, he uses his own words and he elaborates on points, but every single time it was backed up with scriptures and text all across the Bible. To me, it's not even about going deep in the Bible, like he said. Um, it's about being authentic. It's not about having a, like, you gotta have a care for the people. Like, I don't look at what people know about the Bible. If you don't care about the people you're talking to, like, it'll be best for you not even to say anything. I believe James Curvin really care about people. I don't really think he's doing this for fake, it's authentic. You see what I'm saying? So, like, it don't matter what your interpretation is, do you really care about the people? Do you really care about where they going eternally? And that's what, and that's what really matters to me, and that's the one thing that me and him have in common. Regardless if we don't always agree, we agree on one thing, that these people and where they go mean more than where, 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 what's being interpreted. I know, it was all in the Bible. He would even say, like, pull out your own Bible, make sure it says the right thing, because it was all in the Bible. It was nothing he said that was his opinion. On a scale from 1 to 10, 10 being very good and 1 being not very much, how much would you recommend other people come to listen to James Curvin's teachings at this church, DFW Shreveport? I'd give it a, a 9 because I can understand that most people won't be necessarily ready. But for people who are, it's a really good teacher. Oh, absolutely, a 10, absolutely. It's nothing to lose by coming here. <laughs> absolutely a 10. The preaching is, like I say, it's by the book and it's passionate. The people are very welcoming and the services, you can't deny them. So it's very good. Oh, it's a 10 for me. Just every single factor is just a 10 out of 10. Warm, welcome, loving, everything. So I'll give it a ten. I'm gonna give him a nine point nine because we slightly, because like he know we slightly, we, we slightly disagree about stuff, and that's fine. Like I love him, he understand, he know I'm not lying. I can't say that, man. Him disagree with some stuff, then I say, oh, I give him a ten. But I'm gonna give him a nine point nine just because he know I'm like that. But like now, nah, if, if, if people really want to get edified and really learn a good shepherd, like he, he know I would bring people here. You know what I'm saying? I bring, I would bring, try to get people to come here. You know, um. I think really people, if they really want to understand what God's Word is really saying, they should really understand that James Curry and care about them, not just about getting your money, getting your what's the name, that don't matter to him. Understand what the Word is. Feed the flock of God. That's all I got to say.